So what I want to do is I want to get a kind of a rough idea of how much wire I need. Now I can actually push a little bit of this wire back into the body just to give me a little bit more slack so I have a little bit of room to play with. And I can kind of see that I'm going to cut roughly about here on this particular wire. So I can kind of make mark my spot there and then I'm just going to cut the wire. We cut the wire down to a good size here. So what we need to do now is we need to peel back a little bit of this grounding wire here and so it doesn't interfere with this hot lead which is going to go to this um, this outer lug here. You can see that the capacitor is connected here. This middle lug here is going to the toggle switch and then it's hard to see but this uh, outer lug here is connected to the back of the potentiometer is grounded. So we're going to add, I cleaned up the back of the pot so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of solder here so we can ground this um, this uh, this wire here. So it's going to look roughly like this but we're going to peel this back. So I'm just going to take this wire here and just going to try to peel it back a little bit so you can see I'm kind of exposing this inner wire here and really we just want to make sure that that this part is not touching that hot lead because it'll ground it out and you'll get intermittent sounds could even just uh, make your sound go away which we don't want once you kind of get a little bit you can actually it'll slide a little bit and then I can actually twist this to make it stay in place as long as we got a nice kind of clean end here that's what we're going for again we don't want any of this touching that end here so it's going to lie in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little a bit off the end here. Twist this wire a little bit. Just going to tin that end there. Just a little bit of solder. to add a little bit of solder to the back here. I'm going to connect the hot lead to this lug right here. Just going to heat everything up. There we go. You can do a visual inspection, making sure that everything looks like it's covered nicely. Again, I'm making sure that none of this is going to touch that hot lead. And now what I can do is I can heat up this little bit of solder that I put here. And I may have to add a little bit more depending on how well it, it uh, bonds to this back of the potentiometer. But I basically want to make sure that this wire is nicely soldered to that pot. There we go. And I may add just a little bit more solder. There we go. Using my tweezers to hold. Great. This is looking good. So we need to do the thing, same thing to the bridge lead wire here. I'm just going to push back a little bit of that ground wire. Again, I want to make sure I have a clean end here. None of those wires touching. Okay, we're looking good. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this off here. Going to tin this wire. Going to add a little bit of solder right here. 
for that ground wire to connect. So I like to start with the hot lead just because it's a little bit easier when I get this in first. Hold that for a second. Once it's cool, you can test it, making sure that it's connected. You may have to add a little bit more solder to that lug if you need, need to. All right, now we're ready to connect this back of the this wire to the back of the pot. Just going to heat this up. And I'm trying to get this wire heated so it's not just um, the pot. I want to make sure that the wire gets heated as well. And I still may need to add a little bit more. There we go. This wire is nicely coated. I'm trying to move as fast as I can so I don't burn through this this uh, this outer wire here. So we're looking good. This thing looks nicely connected and soldered. Uh, it's not. It feels really nice and snug. I don't have any sort of bad connections on both of them, so we're looking good.